Microsoft PowerPoint presentations pack more punch when they include pictures and clip art instead of just text. Here's a quick overview of how to add pictures to a presentation from your hard drive or from the web. First, click into the slide where you want the picture to appear, and in the top navigation, select the Insert tab. Then, here in the Illustrations group, you're going to choose to insert a picture. In the dialog box, you can navigate to the file that you need. Mine's right here on the desktop. And then just highlight the picture, and down here at the bottom, select the Insert button. You'll notice, actually, that you have a few different options with this button. You can just insert your image, which embeds it into the presentation, or you can insert a link to the image. Embedded pictures become a permanent part of the presentation. They don't change, even if you change the picture in its source program. If you link a picture, the presentation only stores the location for the link and displays a proxy of the picture in the PowerPoint. If the picture is modified in its source, it will also change in the presentation. And then a third option here is to insert the picture and the link. I'm just going to insert the picture the old-fashioned way and click on Insert. And there's my picture embedded in the presentation. To move it, just click to highlight the picture and drag it to another spot on your slide. And if I decide I want to replace it with a different picture, I can just right-click on the image and choose Change Picture. There's the dialog box again, where I can find the right file. I'll just click the one I want and hit the Insert button. There, PowerPoint swapped out the old picture for the new one. If you want to insert a picture from the web instead of from your computer, you need to save the picture from the website to a temporary location first before you can insert it into your slide. So I'll just delete this one first. Then I'm going to go to this website that has free images for members and choose one that I like. Then I'll right mouse click on the image and select Save Picture As. As you would expect, I get a Save Picture dialog box. So I'll create a file name for my picture, and I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now. Then back in my PowerPoint, I can insert the image the way I did the first time, by going up to the Insert tab and selecting the Picture option, then choosing the image file that I just saved. And there's the image that I saved from the website. You'll follow almost the identical process to insert a clip art image, but instead of choosing the Picture button in the Illustrations group, you'll choose Clip Art. First, type in your search term. Then in the dialog box, you need to tell PowerPoint where to search for the images. So open the pull-down menu for the Search In option, and select the collections that you want to search. In the next menu down, you can also choose what type of media you want the software to search for, like clip art, photos, movies, and sound files. You can click the plus sign next to any media type to see the full directory for that option. And finally, hit the Go button, and you'll see a selection of thumbnail images at the bottom. If anything appeals to you, just click on the image and it will be embedded into your slide. And that's how easy it is to add pictures and clip art to your Microsoft PowerPoint presentations.